Hey, uh, lizard, lizard, lizard guy here, and I just got kicked out of my dorm. Apparently, taxes aren't optional or whatever, so I'm hiding in the park until I can find a new place to live. I'm gonna check Rekazilla and see if there's any places up for renting. First, we got the original dorm. From around the same era when Coach was still a man, the dorm room was actually split into two areas. The starter room and the changing room. The starter room can be assumed to be the area where the player initially spawns in while first logging on, while the changing room is the area a player can change their appearance. While images and information is hard to find on these original rooms since they were demolished when everyone moved to new dorms, these original rooms connect up to the original locker room which would later be renamed to the rec center. Sometime around 2016, the dorms got remodeled, combining the spawn and customization into one room. This dorm got shifted around multiple times, having the tables and mirror move, but the general layout stayed relatively consistent. In early 2017, the room contained the kiosk, or computer. The kiosk is a forgotten relic from the locker room to rec center era, where to sign up or to set a profile picture, the player would have to visit a large computer in their room. These functions would later be moved to the watch. The cabinets would change many times, going from a large clipboard, dusty mirror, and a small cabinet, to the more iconic large cabinet that when clicked would open the zero-g customization. One distinct difference is the bed and community board would very early on get swapped in position. In April of 2018, we would finally get a more modern looking dorm that matches the art style of the eventual new rec center which came out a bit later in August. At the time, the dorm still had the strict rules of no editing up until 2019 where Coach finally blessed us with the ability to make sweet sweet custom dorms. The ability to customize dorms add a whole new level of emotional attachment to what previously was just an area for you to spawn. Quickly after, the series format of dorm tours became popular and would boost many rec room YouTubers to popularity based on the interactivity of the series. Suddenly, every person's dorm room was a reflection of their likes, dislikes, and general style. The influx of dorm customization lined up perfectly with the release of Inventions. Inventions allowed talented users to make free objects so literally anyone could just go to the market and find objects to decorate their dorm with. Dorms are at the peak popularity, but you can't stay in a dorm forever. April 30th, 2020, the Join the Club edition. The newest update added clubs, something that while mildly interesting, didn't add much value to the game outside of one small bullet point. You can now use any room you created as a clubhouse for your club, and club members can choose to spawn in the clubhouse by default, bypassing the dorm room. Long gone were the days of the dorm room and its strange limitations. Players can now spawn in any custom room of their choosing. While the dorm will always be the place to change your clothes and the mirror has had minor tweaks here and there, it's safe to assume the dorm is at a point where it won't be touched for at least the near future. Anyways, I'm probably just gonna go with this house, is it shouldn't be too many tote. Fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 uh,